Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be talking about Infinity Ward, Activision, as well as Raven Software, and the double standard that is happening between those three studios. You guys know I've been giving Infinity Ward a lot of shit since the beta, mostly because they're not responding to fan feedback. Well, leaks and rumors are now suggesting that while Infinity Ward is just firmly putting their heels in the ground and refusing to budge, right now, Raven Software is making a bunch of changes to Warzone 2 based on player feedback, despite the fact that the average player hasn't even been able to play it, right? They're making these changes based on the feedback that we had during Call of Duty Next when a bunch of content creators were flown out and were able to play the game early. Now, this information is going to be coming in from Metaphor. He puts out a really weird cryptic, like, emoji tweet. I think he's doing it to protect himself so he doesn't get in too much trouble for leaking information. But the stuff is backed up by Tom Henderson. And you guys know Tom Henderson's, like, the most credible leaker out there, so I definitely take everything that Tom says pretty seriously. And the information is this. AI is only going to be in strongholds now. They're not just going to be randomly placed throughout the map. We saw AI, of course, a lot during the invasion game mode in Modern Warfare 2's beta, and AI was supposed to be part of Warzone 2, but they're going back on that idea now, and now strongholds are just going to be there. Previously, we learned that strongholds are going to be the place you can go to actually get your weapon loadout, but apparently that's different now as well, because loadouts and perks are going to be returning which is completely against what Warzone 2 was originally going to be like during the playtesting that we saw at Call of Duty Next. And in my personal opinion, feel free to disagree, I know a lot of you will, but I don't like the idea of loadouts in COD. I understand that Warzone's loadouts is kind of like what separates it from other BR games, but I just prefer more traditional, like, find your guns, find your attachments, find your perks, find your armor, find everything on the map. It encourages people to move, it encourages chasing kills. Like, I like that setup in, like, a traditional BR, similar to Blackout, but it looks looks like in their current iteration, which they're playtesting right now, that loadouts and perks are going to be returning. The looting UI has been changed, and the final one there is a little bit confusing, but they did mention during Call of Duty Next that there was going to be a bunch of quests and missions and things like that for you to do. They specifically said, like their words, they want to give you things to do besides just win the game, which is something I've been advocating forever now, man. Like going back to Blackout, you guys know me, I love Blackout, going for the number skins, you know, leveling up in Blackout to get the Blackout specific characters to play as, you know, going through and unlocking the Blackout specific characters that you can get for finding their items on the map, like Dempsey and Reznov and things like that. Blackout was really fun for me because every game wasn't just how many kills can I get and can I win the match. There was also this extra layer of progression on top of things, and it appears they're reworking whatever they have planned for Warzone 2, so that could be good, it could be bad. We really have no idea, but the big takeaway here is Raven Software is making changes and tweaking Warzone 2 based on the little tiny bit of player feedback that they got from like a couple hundred content creators that call of Duty next. Meanwhile, hundreds of thousands, millions potentially of people are out there yelling at Infinity Ward, please fix your game, please fix the minimap, fix that silence, fix the footsteps, fix everything. And there's like, mm, we'll see. <laughs> What a double standard that is, man. Like, Infinity Ward. Like, I don't want to just, like, keep putting, like, all my videos about Infinity Ward and just kind of, like, always calling them out and trying to hold their feet to the fire. But it's true, man. Like, they really aren't making changes, whereas Raven Software is. That's pretty insane to me. And we also got some more leaks coming in today from Tom Henderson. Now, I'm not sure what all I'm allowed to even show in the video, so I'll put a link to Tom Henderson's article down there in the description to his Inside Gaming website. We have some data mine strings for the DMZ game mode. You guys know DMZ is going to be sort of similar to Escape from Tarkov, but it's going to be a Warzone game mode. It's going to come out the same day Warzone does during Season 1 of Modern Warfare 2 on November 16th, and these missions are going to be like extract X amount of enemy grunt weapons, capture X amount of SAM sites, uh, extract a hailstorm, whatever that is, kill a boss and extract their weapon case. Like These are a bunch of these different missions that are going to be part of this new DMZ mode, and I'll put a link down there in the description so you guys can go ahead and just read those for yourselves. I'm definitely interested in the game mode because it's PvP 
V-E. You know what I mean? So there's going to be a bunch of AI, really difficult bosses and things like that, but there's also going to be any players out there that you can maybe work with or work against. Like, it's going to be interesting. There's a reason why Escape from Tarkov has blown up so much in recent years, and it's pretty clear that Activision, Infinity War, Raven, whoever, all these people are trying to jump on that bandwagon a bit because it's a very interesting concept. And Call of Duty does what Call of Duty does. They try, they see these interesting things out there, and they try to make their own version of it. I mean, they, they have Warzone for crying out out loud and Warzone's ridiculously popular and unlike Modern Warfare 2 it's actually getting updates and changes so that's pretty interesting but ladies and gentlemen yeah I just want to make this video here today to let you guys know that Warzone 2 is undergoing a pretty significant revamp here as we get closer and closer to the launch of Modern Warfare 2 and then subsequently the launch of Warzone 2 and Infinity Ward you said in your blog post you're gonna be giving us more information soon Clock's a ticking. Clock is definitely a ticking. I cannot wait to learn more, and hopefully they are really going to make some changes for the game going forward. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all for this video here today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments. Be sure to subscribe if you're new around here, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.